Okay. So, greetings, Aries. Welcome to your horoscope. This is what we got going on this week. So, Uranus is in your first house, and so is the south node. Now, the south node is what we brought in our past life. Uranus is the activator planet, and it's also sort of like the advanced trickster, and the clown, and the shock, and the inspiration of the zodiac, the radical. When I think of Uranus, I like to think of this one American radical from the Chicago 7 named Abby Hoffman. He wrote this book called Steal This Book. And I think bookstores had to hide it from their shelves because people actually did steal it. And this is like in the early 70s. And there was still a lot of uh, leftover that, you know, the corporations are screwing us all over. So they deserve to be taken advantages of, unlike today, where the corporations are like, the regular people are screwing us corporations over and we need to oppress them. (laughs) And take advantage of them whatever way we can with higher interest rates and blah, blah, blah. You know, and um, Aries, I know how you feel like that. You know, it's all a bunch of fooey. This weekend's looking good, though. We're starting out with the moon and Taurus in your second house. It's a good weekend to do some singing, to get out in the garden, pick some vegetables, make a good meal, pay your bills, maybe even sell some of your vegetables, make a little extra money on the side, do all those nice, Taurian, easygoing things. On the other end of this, we've got Saturn and Mars in Scorpio in the eighth house. So, it's like Saturn in the eighth house is rather ego-crushing. Mars in the 8th house makes us rather impatient, makes us really horny too, and, and, and wanting more sexual pleasure if we're at an age where that's an appropriate thing still, um, you know, and I hear that all the ages it's appropriate, you know, as long as, you know, you're not with somebody too young for you or something like that or, you know, and you get caught or I don't know, but, you know, that's how it works. It, it's, a, it's a funny world out there, folks. Um, So we still have a stellium in Leo with Venus, Jupiter, and um, the Sun. So you're in a very creative space. You're able to do a lot of really great creative work right now. And you inspire others. Your heart is open. You're ready for love. And you're also, with Mercury, going to be moving through your, your sixth house now, ready to get organized, ready to get on things, and to make your life a much more functional place. 